You're probably wondering, how is it? Is it worth the money? Well, I am three hours into it. I'm three hours into it. I just finished the uh, the uh, the the training campaign. This is uh, this is a lot to take in. There's a lot of information here. Um, if you're wondering exactly what the game is, it is a World War II themed on the Eastern Front, but there are some American forces in this, but mainly it's Eastern Front. Um, for uh, Men of War II, and it is a more realistic RTS. Uh, no base building uh, in the traditional sense. You just get you get command points, you build those up, and you bring in units. If I had to say this game's anything, it's like a uh, takes a little uh, some ideas uh, from um, Steel Battalion, Company of Heroes, uh, and uh, Call to Arms. You know, like they're they're the three of them have done all this. You know, very very good. Uh, though I believe Call to Arms uh, got its ideas from Men of Men of War, I think. But anyway. If you're curious, that's kind of like the gameplay. Very realistic, you know, kind of armor penetration and the infantry get wiped out very realistically. You, you plan your defenses, uh, you, you can plan your attack. There's aircraft, there's artillery, combined arms galore in this game. So very grounded, realistic kind of experience. And it's also that means that there's a lot of buttons to select, like, like deploying uh, anti-tank, deploying barbed wire, taking direct control of your units, uh, running them around, fighting, driving the tank around, and then sizing up the enemy. Um, and tanks can blow up on a dime because, you know, some depending on penetration and stuff like that. Um, so the game is uh, broken up into two sections. Campaign. So you got story. Uh, there are three campaigns here, each one with six missions. Uh, I have, I'm going to start these in just a moment, but there's that. Historical, also three campaigns here. Seven missions, seven missions, six missions for this, okay? Um, Qu Conquest and Raid both have generative campaigns. So that means, uh, you know, you'll research stuff and you'll advance on, on a map and try to take the objectives and stuff like that. Um, that's what that is. I don't know the difference between Conquest and Raid because I haven't done them yet. Um, but I guess, you know, you can... I don't know if that's a big thing. So you can look that up yourself. Then there's multiplayer, of course. The PvE which you work together with other people. And I think the campaign is also co-op as well, by the way. Then it's multiplayer. So you have uh, PvP battles, combined arms, battalions, classic, you know, whatever that kind of stuff is. Um, you can go online and, and wreck people with this, uh, this kind of gameplay. But that's the gist of it. I'm very early into it. Um, my initial opinion of is that it's playing just fine. It's fun. You know, you call in troops, you set up, you know, uh, the, the controls are great. The, uh, the the AI seems to do pretty well at understanding what you're trying to do. Um, so far, so good. I'm having a good time with it. I'm going to dive into the campaign, but that's my initial very early. Just to let you know real quick, what is it? And is it worth it? I mean, ultimately, it's going to come down to you because, like, there's not too many games of this type that is available. So it's good that you have options, you know? So take a look and see what you think.